Hi and welcome back to this new video tutorial of PrestaShop. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the PrestaShop mobile application there itself. Now what we have done is that we have uh, created one demo application for the Android and the iOS devices there itself. Now you as a customer can download those up and you can access the particular mobile application to check how the particular PrestaShop mobile application works with the default functionality that we have provided within the mobile app there itself. Now as a store owner of the PrestaShop, if you want to have the particular mobile application for your PrestaShop uh, store there, then what you need to do is you need to purchase a particular service from our end and provide us with the prerequisites that according to your requirement there and accordingly we'll be creating the uh, PrestaShop mobile application for the Android as well as for the iOS devices there. Kindly note that this particular mobile application uh, that's there that we have created is based on the Flutter, uh, what we say as the framework there. And in today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be basically checking the workflow at the mobile end for the Android devices there. And uh, we'll be seeing how the particular mobile application appears to the customers on the Android device there, the homepage sections there, the customer account panel options and much more. But before I proceed further with today's video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and let's see this uh, particular mobile application on the Android end and how it appears to the customers and the rest of the workflow at the mobile end as well. For the same, let's hop on to the mobile end now. So right now you can see that I'm on my Android device and I've downloaded the PrestaShop mobile application from the Google Play Store itself. And right now you can see the shortcut on my homepage there on your screens right now. So basically now what we'll be doing is we'll be checking the workflow of the mobile application there. So let me open the application by tapping on the PrestaShop mobile cool uh, application icon there or the shortcut that we have on our Android home screen there. So let's tap on that. As soon as we've tapped, we had a plus screen there and then we are able to see the home page of the mobile application there. Now you have seen that how fast the particular mobile application has loaded up on the home screen there. Now for the very top, you can see that we have a complete listing of the featured categories that we had added uh, in the admin backend panel there as the app categories under the configuration settings of the mobile application there. And the same are visible here to the customers as well. So at the very top, we have the same. Now kindly note that I have not edited any of the images for the featured category there. So that's why it's showing it in the green color. Otherwise, if I would have edited the different images for the different uh, featured categories there, those image would be displayed to the customer in the mobile application as well. Now, after that, we have the image slider here. So this is the image slider, as you can see, and the customers can scroll between left to right or right to left here and with the particular uh, what we say as the images within this slider there. Now it depends upon what configuration has been set up from the admin backend panel for the image slider whether uh, the redirection for a particular slider image has been set to product category or uh, custom URL there. Accordingly if I tap on that we will be redirected to that particular uh, thing itself. Now after that we have the default product blocks like we have the best sellers we have the popular products, we have on sale, then we have the custom product blocks uh, that uh, we'll be showing you in the coming video, how the product blocks can be created from the admin backend panel, like for example, uh, hot deals on sale now, of, or we can say the August or the December, uh, New Year, uh, uh, what do we say as sale is there. So you can create a particular product block and you can add the products within that uh, particular block as well. Now for each of the custom blocks as well, you can see that we have a view all option as well. Tapping on that would display the complete list of products within the particular product block there. So here we have the, have the cushions and we can scroll between them as well. And then you can see that we have a test block as well. And within this, uh, we have only added one product there as per the requirement there. Then you can see that we have the banner images here. Uh, this one, this particular one with two males and one female. These are the banners that we have added from the backend panel. And depending upon the configuration there, what we have set up, whether the redirection on the tap on these uh, banners uh, would redirect the customer to the product page 
a category page or a custom URL or as per the required setting in the admin backend panel there. And lastly, you can see that we have the recently built products as well. And at, uh, at the bottom, we have the back to top option. If I tap on the back to top option, we'll be taken back to the top of the mobile home page there. Now at the very bottom end, you can see that we have the home categories, cart and profile. Now, if I go to the categories, we'll be able to see the particular categories uh, there within the mobile app. And uh, from here, we can access the products that are within the uh, particular category there. The complete listings would be also displayed here. And uh, you can also tap here on the view all button to view all the complete products. Or if you want to go to a particular subcategory like home accessories under the accessories, then you can tap on that as well. And that would display the complete listing of the products within that particular subcategory as well as you can see right now on your screens there then we have the cart icon if i go to the cart icon right now the cart is empty so it's showing it as empty and then we have the profile section wherein we have different options like we have the very first option to sign in or register we have the option to change the languages currencies and we have the options to check the terms and conditions of uh, the cms pages that have been assigned to the terms and conditions about us customer service privacy policy would be displayed and we have a contact us option as well uh, but before going to this particular section let me take you to the home page once again and for example on the home page if i go to the very top we have this two uh, icons one is the search icon and one is the notification icon now if any push notifications have been sent out uh, to the mobile devices there by the admin depending upon the group uh, there and those push notifications would be popped up and would also be visible then under the notification icon and the push notifications can be of the product or the category type and depending upon the ones or uh, a particular custom link if uh, applied to a particular push notification then tapping on that would redirect the customer to the product page category page or to that particular custom url link that the admin would have added for the particular push notification there now, if I tap on any of the push notifications, you can see for this one, we are redirected to the product uh, catalog there. And for the new arrivals, we are being redirected to the catalog page as well. Now for the search, uh, you can search uh, using uh, two methods here. Uh, one is the text method. For example, if I search mug, the particular mug product will be searched. The other one is voice search. For example, mug. So it has automatically recognized the mug wood and the particular products have been displayed. Apart from that, we also have this camera icon. So if I tap on the camera icon, you'll be able to search the products within the store using the text-based search and the image-based search as well. Now, in the case of text-based search, uh, let me uh, display uh, you how this particular thing works. So for that, I'll just bring in my laptop here and I have entered one word. That's the mug word on my screen. So I'll be tapping here on the text and I'll allow this time only. I'll tap here on the text. You can see the mug word has been recognized here. So if I tap on mug, the particular mug has been added into the particular search uh, section there and the particular products have been searched thereafter. Now let me take it away, the laptop. Now in the same uh, uh, scenario, you can make use of the image search as well. So if I tap on the image, it would basically uh, recognize the image that uh, the camera is looking at. So you can see that there's a table uh, just down below the camera right now. So it's uh, assuming that we are having a sky, a pattern, sand, skin and asphalt. Now, if you're scanning a particular product image, then the particular product image would be recognized. And then you can stamp that on that. And if that particular product is available in the web store there, or that would be displayed within the mobile application as well. Now let me go back. So this was the search and the notification icon at the top for the push notifications. Now let's come down to the profile section. So here you can see that we have the sign in or register option, languages option. Now kindly know that the prestige of mobile application basically for the Android and the iOS devices supports both the left to right and right to left languages. So the Arabic language is also included in that. So for example, if I go to the languages, here you can see that we have the English, uh, French, Arabic and Italian Yano. And if I go with the Arabic there, you will see that the complete store uh, view would be changed into the Arabic language. As you can see right now on your screens, everything is in Arabic and from right to left, 
right? And uh, the bottom options like home, categories, everything is in the uh, Arabic language there itself. If I go to the profile as well, the same is visible there as well. Now let's change the language back to the English. And then let's go back to the profile section. And now let me show you how we can change the currency of the store. You just need to tap on the currency. And for example, I'll choose Saudi. Right now it's a great uh, uh, British pound there. I'll choose it as Saudi Rial. And after choosing it out, you can see that now everything is in Saudi Rial. S-A-R. That's the currency short form there. Now let's go to the profile there. Then we have the terms and conditions. If I go to the terms and conditions, the terms and conditions CMS page would be displayed to the customers. In a similar way, you can check the about us, customer service and privacy policy there. Then we have the contact us option and you can uh, basically choose uh, the uh, subject there for the contact us into the email message. If you want to add any attachments, you can attach those as well and you can tap here on the save button to contact the particular store owner there itself. Now let's see the procedure of sign in or register. So if I tap here on the sign in or register, you'll be able to sign in or register there. And you can sign in with email and you can create an account or you can use the social networks to log into the mobile app as well. Now the social thing is a, a paid service there. And it's not the default functionality for the mobile application right now. So if you want to create an account, just tap on here on the create an account and that will bring up this particular section. Just give your uh, social title, first name, last name, email address, password, confirm password, date of birth. You can sign up for the newsletters. You can receive special offers from our partners. You can check that out. You can also agree to the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. And you can also read the terms and conditions by tapping on the read terms and conditions. And after that, just tap on the sign up button to sign up. Now let's see how we can log into the mobile application that for that you have to tap here on the sign in with email enter your email password tap on the sign in button and you will be signed into the account if you forget your password you can also tap on the forget password and here you have to enter the email address that you used to register and then uh, you'll be receiving one uh, new password on your email address there let me tap cancel for the time being and let's tap here on the sign in button to sign into the account there after sign in you can see that we have successfully signed in uh, we can change the background image this background image the profile image so you have to tap on that then you can choose through the gallery or camera as well then the very first uh, menu option that we have is the my personal information so if i tap here on the my personal information this would display my first name last name email uh, the section for the password change so from here you can enable this option to change the password there uh, let me disable it out uh, you can opt out you can opt out from receiving the newsletters or receiving the special offers and you can save that up to save your profile apart from that you can also delete your account by tapping on the delete account button as you can see on the right hand side there then we have my addresses now this particular section displays the complete list of addresses that you have added you can edit remove the addresses or you can add a new address by tapping here on the add new address button then give your first name, last name, your company name, your address, city, zip code, country, phone number and tap on the save button to save the particular address there as per your own requirement. Then we have the order history and details section. Under that you will be able to see the complete uh, listing of the orders that you have placed with their states like pro uh, processing in progress, delivered, awaiting, check payment, uh, payment error, etc. And from here, you can check the details of any order by tapping on the details button or you can reorder the particular thing by tapping on the reorder or you can check the invoice by tapping on the invoice as well. So for this delivered one, if I tap here on the invoice, you can see we can download the invoice as well if I allow this option. So I'll just say don't allow. If I want to check the details, I can tap on the details and here are the details of the order. And if I want to reorder this particular one, I can tap here on the reorder button there as well and the particular thing would be added into my cart as you can see the brown bay cushion has been added and uh, I can change the quantity here as for the requirement if I have any voucher that I can apply that voucher as well and here you can see the available vouchers are there I just need to tap here on for example a flat 20% the voucher has been applied I can remove the voucher as well I remove the voucher there and let's proceed to the checkout there now here i'll select my shipping address and i'll be choosing the shipping method i'll choose my carrier 
as the shipping method there i'll tap here on the proceed button and on the payment and review section now we'll be checking the details there i'll agree to the terms and services and we'll adhere to them unconditionally and i'll tap here on the place order button to place the particular order for the respective product that i had added within the card there now this will uh this is basically taking a bit of time there uh it seems that there is some internet connectivity issue all right you can see that the payment amount has been received thank you and the order has been received now let's tap here on the continue shopping so this was the uh, particular section there order history and details now we have the my credit slip slips under my credit slips you'll be able to see the different credit slips that have been generated and you can download them as well by tapping on the download button there you have my vouchers that displays the complete list of vouchers uh, within your account there under my personal data you can get your data in a pdf format or in a comma separated value file as well and for rectifications and erasure request what you can do is you can check the basically you'll go down to the a uh, section that says contact us this one the last one option just above the logout to contact us for deleting or uh, basically what we say as for the rectification and the erasures of your request there then uh, after my personal data we have my merchandise returns so if you have done any returns all of those details would be visible here returns completed package received return denied along with the statuses as well apart from that for the particular uh, returns you can check the details as well as for the requirement there now let's go back and lastly we have the languages currencies terms and conditions about us customer service and privacy policy as well apart from that let me go to the home page there and let's open our product uh, page or uh, for example let's open today is a good day so here you can see that we can share the product as well over whatsapp uh then we have the details of the product their dimensions so we can check the details as well so from here we can add it to the cart first and then make a checkout or we can directly tap on the buy now button to take us directly to the checkout page where we have to select our shipping and payment methods to make it a faster pr process for the checkout there so yes that was much about the prestige of mobile application and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular mobile application on the android and that if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.qvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead